I wasn't the only person on Saturday who rushed to her android when news came of the Tucson shooting. I wasn't looking, however, to read about what had happened. My auntie had already filled me in. Someone tried to murder una representante. People have been killed, she reported. What I wanted to know was the killer's surname. My eye scanned the mobile papers. I held my breath. Finally, I saw it. Jared Lofner. Not a Ramirez, Gonzalez, or Garcia. It's safe to say there was a collective sigh of brown relief when the Tucson killer turned out to be a gringo. Had the shooter been Latino, media pundits wouldn't be discussing the impact of nasty politics on a young man this week. They'd be demanding an even more stringent anti-immigrant policy. The new members of the House would be stepping over each other to propose new legislation for more guns on the border, more mothers to be deported, and more employers to be penalized for hiring brown people. Obama would be attending funerals and telling the nation tonight that he was going to increase security just about everywhere. In short, the only reason the nation is taking a few days to reflect on the animosity in politics is precisely because the shooter was not Latino. It's painfully ironic that a gay Latino man came to the aid of Representative Giffords in the storm of gunfire. If a judge hadn't blocked provisions of Arizona's SB 1070 law, however, the interim surname would have easily qualified him as a target for police under different circumstances on Saturday. As Sheriff Clarence Dupnick of Pima County, Arizona, told reporters, the anger, the hatred, the bigotry that goes on in this country is getting to be outrageous. And unfortunately, Arizona has become sort of the capital. I admit that it was only after I saw the shooter's gringo surname that I was able to go on and read the rest of the news about those who lost their lives on Saturday and those who, like Representative Giffords, were severely wounded. I admit also that I felt some small relief in knowing that at least this shooting wouldn't be used as a reason for yet another backlash against immigrants. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. In this political climate, it's hard to tell.